All right, everyone. Hopefully, uh, everyone's having a good time this morning. I am going to be doing a quick uh, tip trick on how to leverage or how to make your text pop out more on a photo. And to do that, I'm using a product called Canva, canva.com. If you go on that website, it's an online photo editing tool, a great tool for agents, for any small businesses to actually use. And it's a free tool. You don't actually have to pay them to use uh, a lot of their features that they have available for free. Um, so once you're on Canva, I'm gonna go ahead and create a design and I'll just do a typical real, uh, Facebook post. And I'm gonna do a real estate uh, use case here. So once you uh, select the dimension, you wanna upload those photos. I've already done this uh, step ahead, so I'm just gonna select on that. And I wanna point out that when you're in Canva, you have this canvas section here. This is where when you export, whatever is in here is gonna be cropped to that uh, dimension. So any images that go outside of it, don't worry about it, it'll just cut it right down uh, on the edges here. And the reason why I wanna point this out because sometimes you might be in a situation where you have a photo like this where you may not care about these other items. Now you can crop it by clicking on the crop button and then you can um, you can actually move this, uh, the borders here, and, 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 and say that you're done, and it crops it perfectly. But if you don't want, you know, a step faster is you, you don't even have to care about this. What you can do is you can just kind of move the image at the top and then just expand it, make it large, uh, enlarge the entire photo. Uh, as long as the core of the photo is there, that's great. And, and you know, if I don't want, let's say, the railing of this pool, Maybe what I can do is I can make it even larger if I wanted to and, and expand it out. So I can like, you know, move this out and then I can drag it down and I'll say I'm done. And then that looks good to me. Now, the next step here is I'm gonna go ahead and add in a text. So I'm gonna put in, um, let's just say just sold. Now, if I stop right here and I export this out, you know, people will see this word just sold, but it doesn't have that pop to it. And a way to have that pop is to put a darker background on the image itself. And the rule of thumb is to have good contrast, right? So if you're using a, a dark color text, you wanna have a lighter background. If you're using uh, a darker, a lighter text color, then you wanna have a darker background. And typically a light background, or I'm sorry, a light uh, color text on a darker background generally does pop out more. So how do you do that? What you want to do if you want the entire image to be dark or darker, what you want to use is use an element, use a square shape, and I'll just go ahead and and go ahead and just expand it out. I'll, I'll cover the entire image, and again, I'm not going to worry about how it, you know the the object is going beyond the actual frame of the canvas because I don't have to care. It's going to cut all around it. Now. Uh, what you want to do is use the transparency so that it can bleed into the background image. So as I scroll, scroll, use this mouse to kind of move uh, to transparency from right to left, you can see it kind of bleeding through, right? And, and it already, you can see it um, uh, pop a little bit more. But there's a couple of things you have to change. First, the color of this transparency is it's not the color you want. You want a darker color, so, you can, so I recommend use a black color or use even a gray color, and that already look, makes it look nicer. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna make the font color uh, have more contrast, so you use a lighter color. So right away, when I change that from black to white, right away, it pops out. So this is something where I can you know, enlarge the font if I wanted to, and then export this out, and it's gonna look nice. Now play around with that. Another op another way to uh, have your text pop out is instead of making the entire image darker, you can just put sections of it. Like you can even move that transparent box and make it centered and, and you can have this. And that does the job itself because you're, again, you're putting a darker background uh, behind that text to make the text pop out. And because you're using transparency, you're not losing the entire image, right? It's, it doesn't have a, a complete cut off or break from the image. Now, another way to do this is you can actually move this box and create like a banner like, and let's see here, I'll show you what I mean is you can move that down below. And and right now what you're seeing, you can you might notice this, but the 
transparency is a bit too transparent, right? So if you want to make this word just so to pop out a little bit more, just make the transparency a little bit um, uh, less. Uh, so you just increase that value, and as you increase it, it gets darker and darker and becomes more full. Less, it, the higher the number, it's less transparent. Um, so with that said, that, that's a, uh, another way to make the text pop out. Now, if you don't want to use a, 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 like a box background, you can also drop a shadow. So let me show you what I mean by that. You can actually make a shadow, uh, make all of these words have a shadow uh, on it. And there, I haven't found a native way of doing this on Canva. So what I've done in the past is this. I would just take the exact same word, text, and I would just uh, copy this. So let me, let me select that. I'm going to select it once. So I'm not actually inside trying to edit the text. I'm going to copy and paste it. That's all I'm going to do. And then when I paste it, I'm going to choose a darker background. I'm going to use the shadow color, which will be, let's say, black for now. All right. So with that said, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom this in a little bit more. So I'm going to make this, let's say, 100% here. And what I want to do is because I want to create a shadow on my text, I, what I really want to do is I want to make this entire black font go behind the white text. So to do that, all you have to do is make sure you're selecting the black text and click on the position at the very top and then shoot that on the back. You want to shoot it backwards. So if you do that, um, no, actually I need to select out of it. Um, cancel, wait a minute, there we go. So uh, let me just, let me zoom back out here a little bit. Um, oh, I'm a bit too large here. There we go. I'm going to actually close this. I did not mean to do that. What I want to do is uh, just make this 75%. That way I can click out and click back in and I can move the text. So I want to just move the white text above. And if, just to remind folks how I did this is uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this backwards so that you can see originally the it was the black text and what I did, I went to the position and moved it behind uh, this text by clicking on backwards. Now you can move this forward on different layers, but because we're already in this area, it's already there for me. Like there's no, there's no need for me to focus on any of the objects. I'm just focusing on the text. And if I like this right away, you can, you can see that the word does pop out with the shadow and maybe the shadow might be too much of what I can do is I can, um, let me select out, select in one more time, and then I'm going to move it maybe just slightly above it, right? And I can just move it to the left a little, upwards a little. So play around with this and do it to the point where you feel good. And then if you want to select the whole thing, you can just move the cursor, select the entire object, and then you can move it. And if you want, you can, um, instead of uh, having to do this every time you can just group it so that it makes it into one object so that in the future If you want to move the entire thing entire Wording you just select it once and just move the whole thing Right, and then that does it for you um, And obviously you can rotate it using their features. They have here. Maybe you want to rotate it right left uh, That's entirely up to you, uh, but you can play around with that Now I'm gonna just do an undo here so with that said, hopefully that helps everyone out. Um, remember, you can always put a dark background. You can put a box background. You can put a shadow on your text. Uh, those are ways to make your text pop out. Uh, if you guys have any more questions on other tips you need, uh, need help with, feel free to comment below. Follow us on Facebook, uh, Kato Inc. Follow us on our Facebook marketing group. Um, search for us on Growth Marketing for Small Businesses or follow us on LinkedIn. Uh, you can look for me up, Michael Lamb, or follow us at Cato at LinkedIn as well. Um, and we're also on YouTube. Look for us on Cato. We have a lot of marketing tips. So if you guys have more questions, need anything, just comment below and we will make another video um, addressing that. Bye.